What up, Geeky Fire MMA here. Um, in the laundry place, and finally upload a video because I had good Wi-Fi. But um, yeah, this one I'm gonna make a quick video about Yellow Romero's released. Uh, yeah, so UFC is starting to cut a crap ton of fighters, and Yellow Romero got released. So that's a strong message saying like, it don't matter how good you are. We're gonna cut, we gotta start cutting you. So, yeah, like the message you're sending is we gotta take out these old, expensive guys who are still good and can compete. You can still get cut you know, if you're expensive, and they're just replacing with these young, hungry, cheap guys. So, yeah, I believe that's the message they're sending out. And, um, you know, Dana White is saying, yells, um, hold on, but man, I don't know. I think, in a way, this is ugh, good for the middleweight division, I guess. As far as, like, matchup-wise, like, it sucks that Yell's gone, because there's plenty of guys he was still too, too smallish, but, you know, gotta keep the champions active, and can't have too much Yell, Izzy 2, Yell, Izzy 3, Yell, Whitaker 3. It's just... Yeah, it's a mess and it's hard to sell that. So yeah, Yell's gone. What's next for Yell? Um, looks like Combate America wants to buy Yell and make him fight Tito Ortiz, uh, the Huntington Beach bad boy. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and frankly, I don't. But hey, man. Who knows, you know. Uh, if you're been a fan of MMA for a while, you'll understand what I'm about to say, but a healthy neck Tito is more dangerous than a motivated McGregor. A healthy neck Tito would beat Yo Romero and would probably beat John Jones. Yeah, um, yeah, if you think I'm serious, yeah, you're, um, you're just as dumb as me for if you think that I was thinking that I was so serious. So yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, you know, that's probably not going to happen. I mean, Bellator looks like they're rejecting Yo Romero too. And then uh, Bare Knuckle Boxing obviously wants to take Yo Romero. What's next with Yo? I'll see. I'd probably rather hope to see him in like, I don't know, 1FC or Ryzen because I believe the pay there is better. And yeah, Yo, he, um, he's a legit guy. I think uh, he'll be Costa. I think him and Whitaker will be a close match. It just depends. Like, if Whitaker's on point, yeah, Whitaker could win. But Yo, Whitaker looks like he's been slowing down and... He's been, those back, those damage has been, he's been taking it worse, it looks like. So, I think if they have Yell Waker 3, Yell might win. I don't know. Who do you guys think is going to, what's next with Yell Romero? And who do you think is going to get cut next? Because, you know, if they cut Yell, they're going to have to cut Shogun. I'm pretty sure he's basically, uh, they basically got to let him go now. Watching, uh, looking at Dana's uh, press conference about Shogun. No, it didn't seem too good. Um, Shogun's next. Cowboys probably next. Um, anybody who lost to Cowboy, that's probably gonna be next. And guys who probably weren't active for a while, they're all probably gonna be cut. You know, do you think this will be good for like how good will this be for Bellator? And how good would this be for you know the UFC? Do you think this? Are, do you think they're making a mistake, or do you think they're making like a you know good decision as far as business wise comes? You know, like will Bellator be able to compete with all these guys gone? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. You know, peace out.